My name is Brian from Ridgeback Productions, and I help beginning voiceover talent grow their business and generate some income. And one of the ways that I help do that is by teaching about Adobe Audition and some of the benefits of it. Well, what I got was from, I got an email from Marcos, Marcos Perez, and he was asking a question about noise floor. He said, Brian, I'm paraphrasing here. Brian, I hear you talking about noise floor and the importance of it when recording. What is noise floor and how do I measure it using Audition? And I'm going to teach you that. It's pretty simple. Essentially, noise floor is what is the level of volume or noise that your recording space has without you talking. If you were to just turn on the microphone and be silent as you possibly can in the room environment that you're recording, how loud is your room without you even talking? And I'm going to teach you how to do that in this episode. So let's get going. Okay, so we're talking about noise floor and Adobe Audition and how to measure it and what it does. So here we go. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Audition, and this is just a nice, uh, clean file. I, I just labeled it um, test, and we are going to test this to see what it is. So an acceptable noise floor, it just depends, the volume of it, it, it just depends on who you talk to. Really... I like to base it on ACX because if you're beginning, the only time that really you got to be careful of this is ACX, which is an audiobook creation for Amazon, is the audiobook creation exchange, is they're looking for negative six decibels or quieter. So here's how you measure it and here's how you check it. What I'm going to do is I have an Adobe Audition file. I'm going to open up the microphone, which it's already open, and you're going to start recording. Open just another word for recording. You're going to record, but you're going to hold your breath. Just hold your breath for 10 seconds. And this is what you should be doing every time that you um, record a file is you want noise floor at the beginning or the end of your file because you use it for the noise reduction. If you're not familiar, you can go back and, and uh, follow one of my videos. I teach you how to do that. But you should always be recording your noise floor, but this is how you measure it. So you're going to hit record, you're going to hold your breath for 10 seconds, and then you're going to check it. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to click record, and then I'm going to just be silent for about 10 seconds, starting right now. Excellent. Okay, so if we look at this audio file, you're like, wow, cool. I must have a really nice noise floor because I have no peaks, no nothing. Other than what you can see right here, which is in the beginning. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's get rid of this clicking sound because that's just the, the mouse click that doesn't count towards your noise floor. But So then you're thinking to yourself, and Marco's thinking the same thing. My noise floor looks like I have nothing, but here's how you can do it. If you go over to the side of Adobe Audition, and if you up scroll on the scroll wheel of your mouse, you're going to zoom in. So right now, your view is from 0 to negative 27. As you zoom in, you can see things are starting to grow. You're starting to see this line grow. You're not amplifying it, you're zooming in to see what it looks like. Okay, so I zoom in, got some peaks right here. This is probably just me clicking. I'm going to keep clicking or zooming in and I'm going to fill it in the whole window. So you can see that there's my nice big audio file, which is probably silent, doesn't make any noise. But if I look right here, the average peak, if I put it drew a line right here, I'd say it's probably right there. I'm about negative 62, negative 63. For all intents and purposes, my noise floor, I would say, is about negative 62 or negative 63. 
If you really want to be um, precise about this, I would delete the whole thing and do it one more time and hold your breath for 10 seconds. Okay, so there's 10 seconds. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over to the side. I'm going to zoom in. Don't count these little stray high peaks. That's fine. That could just be a little click or something that happened in your room. Just take the average peak level, which is about 63. So it's about six, negative 62, negative 63. It's the same thing down here. My noise floor in this studio is about 62 or 63. Now I run programs so that my noise floor is cleaned up a little bit. And this isn't really my recording space for the work that I do. This is just my editing work and my mic and stuff. But my actual booth is right behind me. Like the skateboards are on the outside of the wall. Uh, my booth in there is, is, is real, real quiet. But uh, so ACX says the recording level acceptable is negative 60. Would my studio out here work around negative 62, 63? It would. It's fine. It's, it's within range. It would pass ACX's um, system of checking or whatever it is. So that is how you check your noise floor on Adobe Audition is record about 10 seconds of silence. Zoom in on the right side and check what. The reading is going across for the average of the waves to see what it averages out to. And it's mine is about negative 62, negative 63. There are ways and I can do more future videos. If you want to see how can you reduce your noise floor? What can you do? What um, how can you wire your cabling? How can you connect things in a, in a different way to change your noise floor? There are little tips and tricks and uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see some of those tricks, if you're getting something out of it, please like and subscribe to the video. YouTube really likes that and it helps in the algorithm so that my videos can show up more often to more people and, and my reach can get out there to help some more people as much as possible. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So there you go. That is how you find your noise floor in Adobe Audition. We'll see you next time.